when people are first introduced to the next generation science standards, they're stunned silence. And then there's squirming in the chair, and people start to get um, antsy, but in a positive way. And then people respond with, oh my gosh, this is wonderful. This is cool. This is great. This is an unprecedented time in education in the United States. Standards in themselves, the, the total document, the next generation, has the power to influence all of the components of the education system. You see, normally we teach out of context. The biology teacher is teaching here, the mathematics teacher there, uh, you know, the English teacher over here. And then when it's time to synthesize, guess what? We aren't there. The next generation standards are based upon research, current research, and how students learn. Science isn't just a mere bunch of facts. You know, science is about the way we think about the world, the way we, the way we question the world, the way we communicate about the world. And that piece alone, developing that, is a, is a huge piece of the new standards. We're really looking at the next generation science standards to propel students into 21st century. So you're looking at college readiness, you're looking at career readiness. Why is now the time for the next generation science standards? We're past the time for the next generation standards. To be competitive globally, we need to um, prepare our students. We have to have as a solid, firm foundation that framework for K-12 science education from the scientific community. I'm one of the writing team members and my job is to assist with the development of the standards which is connected to the framework. Minnesota is a lead state so um, I've part, as part of that I've convened together groups. We have uh, some groups that are working as reviewers of the standards. We have uh, two other groups, one that's sort of dealing it with communications with the business and industry uh, side, also looking at what it would take to implement the standards in Minnesota. And then another group who is looking at communications mostly with educators and especially around the framework document. Our standards need to be able to help our students face a world that we're not currently facing right now. We're never going to reach perfection, I don't believe, because the world is changing. We need to continue evolving and changing with our ever-changing world. When a teacher loves something, the students are going to love it too. Teachers have to be open-minded. They have to be willing to take a risk. They have to be willing to get messy. They're going to have to be willing to let the students lead a little. This is a, it's a very hard thing. It's a very critical thing. But, but it's, it's a very rewarding thing too. It's awesome to see the kids working together and talking to each other and, and supporting what they think with the evidence that they've seen. It is so major cool. It's going to change the way that I teach and it's scary and yet at the same time it's exciting. I think it's going to reinvigorate my teaching. I'm very excited to see that transition, that change to actually doing science. The human capital is the most prized resource that this nation possesses, and we can ill afford the luxury of not developing it to its maximum capacity.